start right now by uh interviewing product he's my favorite character in the yeah. book of this yeah. tour yeah <laughs> let's come over here oh, man. let's what talk to product over here he has yeah. a skateboard with him yeah how you product doing? you tell all these people here when's the last time you showered <laughs> yesterday dude. actually last night man. okay I, right, went for, I went for about five days though got, uh, the, all right. got crazy crabs crawling over myself so anyway let's what talk here to jared Jared's pretty bright in here, huh? Tell us, Jared. <laughs> How's it feel to be white? Does it feel good? I don't like it. No? no I'm kidding. Come on, dude. I like white folks. I like white uh, folks. Yeah. Say hi to the people. Hey, I'd like to introduce Chad, the guitarist from Head PE, one of the guitars, Head PE. And uh, he's kind of sporting a very beautiful hat today, and I kind of like it myself. No, no, I had this one, I was wearing it. I was, it had a life of its own. It smelled so terrible. It was beautiful, though. And I lost it, I think, in a pit or... I lost so it chisel, somewhere. man. You tell them about all the coaches that you own. Yeah, I got He this. also owns the bus company that we... See outside, we have a coach and a... A coach? He actually owns all the coaches. Well, at least that's what we told everyone last night in the bar. And I own a bunch of coaches, <laughs> they, too, uh, for all the basketball teams in the, in the U.S. over there. They're all under my fucking control, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's a rich dude. <laughs> He's a fucking rich dude. so rich, I dress like shit on purpose. <laughs> I, I smell like shit on purpose, too. Cologne, Germany. Whoa, had a day off yesterday, met some nice people. Parked that bus there, fucking stinking like a bitch. And uh, got a brand new lineup. My name is Wid, I'm privileged to be here singing for this band. It's too fucking cool, man. These guys are fucking... The good fucking people, and I'm honored to be fucking singing here in Cologne today. This song's called Hope. We all got a little of that shit. Everybody, I see people sitting back there. That's okay if you got drinks in here. That's okay. But come on, man. Experience the fucking energy. Get the fuck up.
Taught an interview, but like, how long ago did you guys like? Who started and how long ago? Four has years. It, four years ago, had yeah. started. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it, brother. Uh, me and Wes hooked up, and Chad was already my roommate, and um, that's pretty me good story. Me and Mark, me and Mark, life of agony, because uh, most bands hate us. <laughs> Yeah, and let's uh, talk about why nine most bands hate you guys. Bands for nine out of ten bands it. are down with that. Let me ask you this. What happened with, uh, you guys were touring with some band called Stuck Mojo? Yeah. What happened with that tour? I heard some yeah. some weird things. Well, you could call them a band. I prefer to call them a... Uh, Easy now. No, let's just talk about what happened. Yeah. No, what happened was... We squashed it. Yeah. We were squashed. having a good time <laughs> drinking <laughs> Jack Daniels. And Ladies and gentlemen, the they weren't, they weren't, They weren't happy that we were like... Crushing them. No, I'm kidding. It's not like that. <laughs> oh, um, Bust whatever. open that can, Jared. Come on. Doesn't matter. What kind They're, of worms in their they don't, they don't mean anything to us, but they kicked us off the tour, and our record label was really pissed off. But we're back out with LOA, so it's all good. Yeah. And we made it all good. You know something? Yeah, Life of Agony has made it all it's good. It's you guys' last show today. It's all band club. One number is a number.
Give me some more vocals right there. to ask Wit how he feels about, you know, being with the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, gods of West Coast G-Punk, people who <laughs> worship hip-hop and punk rock. How do you feel about that, baby? How do I feel about that? <laughs> yeah. Um, how do you feel about that? I feel very, very privileged to even be touring. I really meant how you feel about, like, the whole, the whole deal of, like, blending styles and all that. Because he's seen, I, Wit seems very open-minded, so I like to have him comment on that. I'll put it this way: as far as your band's concerned, I'm getting it more and more every day. Right. Like the first time I watched it, I was like, "What is this cacophony?" <laughs> and then, uh, and then throughout throughout the tour, I've been watching it and watching it, and uh, you know, I get it more and more. I think anybody's gonna understand your music more and more. As they, it's almost like right. any music. I'm like you sit down, you listen to it, and you're all, "What?" is this stuff that's original. and then and then you know you listen to it a couple more times and you know you can really see there's so much diversity in your in your flavor as you can see see so many different uh crazy melodies going on at the same time and it's good because oh, it all yeah. works it's not smell over this guy oh, this guy this got guy. this guy got to go home with a german girl last night yeah. and in a bed you know what you i'm did? saying only so in west. Got back. i'm only admitting to that if this is not shown in america <laughs> but if i just made all that up america, <laughs> it's I was all kidding. true <laughs> Yeah, well, that's pretty yeah. good, dude, because West, this everyone. is... He plays guitar also. CBS, dude. Oh, great. Right <laughs> at it. Hi, Mom. How are you doing? I like to say all these white people have been really nice to me. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, it's a racial thing now. They I made me it. feel like, hey, <laughs> I was almost white. A style as, as new as, like, Head P.E. has, where, you know, like Whit was saying before, how, you know, it took a little time to understand. I think it was because... It's so different than what's what's going on out there. And anything that's different takes a little while for people to get anyway. And it's good that they're the original band and they got their shit going on. And it's and good that Life Magni is helping us out so, uh, and getting to play in front of they masses home, of people yeah. all And they the like time. to smoke weed like we do. Yes. yes. Burn it, baby. Yeah, bring your herbs to the, the show. The three, we took mushrooms at Dynamo and... Yeah. And Wit was... And I think the plants were talking to me. <laughs> they all think I'm crazy, but I'm serious. I have a relationship with this one tree. <laughs> and they, it was telling me some, some heavy shit. This is a song off the Soul, a song off the Soul Search of Sun album. Probably my favorite song on the bitch. The song's called Tangerine. Street. 
Uh, um, Dynamo is the biggest festival you guys play. Mm. The only festival? Yeah, pretty much. And what was that like? Insanity. Dream come true. Things like, see, for me as a kid, I was looking at Krang and hearing about the festivals in, in like the States. They had Us Festival one time, never again. Out here, they have great festivals all the time. So it was like a dream come true and a privilege to get on that and get to play to all those people. He's like, in America, there's, there's you know, they got Lollapalooza, they got this and that, but you know, everywhere we've gone in the, and it's the summertime now, though it is raining, is there, there's a lot of great places for the, for the youth, for the kids, for, you know, teenagers to go do stuff, to go celebrate music, to go, I mean, at Dynamo, there was, uh, there's this, there's, there's, there's punk rock, there was rock and roll, there was, uh, was there was, Zaxon. there was black metal, there was Zax, Halloween, uh, there's, uh, there was su such a diversity in the celebration of the youth. And that's cool, comparatively speaking, to like America, because there's not a lot of stuff for, to, for the kids to do in America. And uh, I think maybe America could learn a couple things from yeah. the European adventure that we're on. Yeah. And hopefully we can bring back some of those flavors and uh, put them into context where we're from, you know? One of the most important things in any, in any avenue of life is to surround, like, surround yourself by 
you know, people that are going to liberate you, opposed to shackle you. And we got a bunch of liberation forces around us, and that's really what's going on right now. And then we're happy about it. What's up, y'all? It's my dick. Get off! Get off! There's blood on the floor, and you're not even moved. Oh, I don't really know if it's mine or yours, but you ain't moving. Your oh, eyes are wide, but you can't I know there's a place where you ride with me. If you should die and I still survive, I put I go on knowing that I'm still alive here. Get off! There's a beast that's living deep within me. A force in me to feed all my knees in. You brought a sea to end up here. To wave goodbye to all of the tears. To start a new life by. Of that river, you know what time it is. My world would be over. My world would be over. My world would be over. My world would be over.